Alright, so here's another video on graphing the uh, graphing a circle and my other video is graphing the circle when it was in standard form and if you remember standard form is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared and the center is hk and the radius is r. Okay, So in order to graph a circle that's in general form we're going to need to take this and convert it to standard form and get our center and radius because to graph the circle we need the center and radius. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example. So here we have x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 6y minus 23 equals 0. <coughs> so what we need to do is take this equation and complete the square on it first. And then we can get the center, the radius, and then graph the circle. So I've gone ahead and written it down here. <coughs> and I'm going to use this space down here just to find this, just to convert it to standard form and uh, find the center and radius. So what I want to do is I want to take this constant term and move it to the other side. So that's going to give me x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 6y equals, and then I'm going to add the 23 to both sides. See? Alright. <clears throat> and then next I want to group my x terms together and my y terms together. So that's x squared plus 4x, and I'm going to put these in parentheses, and I'm going to leave a little space here, plus y squared minus 6y. I'm going to group these together, and I'm going to leave me a little space here, and that equals 23. All right, so what we have to do now is complete the square on this. Okay, so hopefully you remember how to complete the square. So to complete the square, look at the number in front of x here, the 4, and we half that, and that gives us 2, and then we square it, and that gives us 4. So we add the 4 here, and since we added 4 to this side of the equal sign, we have to also add 4 to the other side. And then here, we take the number in front of y, which is 6, and we half it, and that gives us 3, and then we square it, that gives us 9. And since we added 9 to this side of the equal sign, we have to also add 9 to this side. Alright, so hopefully you remember from factoring that this and this is a perfect square trinomial. And it factors into x plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared. Okay, You should, you should know how to do, to do that if you're at this point on circles. Okay? Uh, if you need to, a review on factoring a perfect square trinomial, I have a, I have a video on that. Uh, you, can go, you can go to my uh, YouTube channel and in the search for my channel, not the main search bar uh, for YouTube, but the search on my channel, that little hourglass, that little magnifying glass, type in perfect square trinomial and that video should come up um, and then this equals 36 and so here you can see that we have the center okay, there's H there's K and if you remember find the center the H and K they have the opposite signs of what you see in front here so that's negative 2 positive 3 and the radius is 6. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and write that up here. The center is negative 2, 3, and the radius is 6. Alright, so let's go ahead and plot the center. So that's negative 2, 3. Do it in a different color. Negative 2, 3. Alright, and now my radius, which is 6, I've got to draw a circle that's 6 units all the way around. <clears throat> so what I do is once I find my radius, 
I just go to the center and I'll go to the right, to the left, up, and down six units. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I'll go up six, I'll go to the left six, and I'll go down six units. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's not going to make a circle. And I'll explain to you why. It should be a circle, but I know it. I know it's not. Okay. <clears throat> so here's my center. Is negative two, three, and my radius is six. And the reason it's not making a perfect circle, and I know it looks like an ellipse, but if you notice, see the the units here on the x-axis and the units on the y-axis if you notice on the x-axis they're further than they are on the y-axis and that's why it's not coming out right okay so hopefully you know if you're graphing it maybe you're using graphing paper and your those blocks they'll be equal distance apart all right so let's look at another example so i've got x squared plus y squared minus 2x <coughs> minus 15 equals 0 so we're going to need to complete the square on it. I've written it down here. All right. So I want to move the 15 over. And so I'm going to add the 15 to both sides. So I get x squared plus y squared minus 2x equals 15. And then I'm going to group the x terms together and group the y terms together. So that's x squared minus 2x, and I'm going to leave me a space there, plus, and then it's just a y squared. Well, I'm not going to have to do anything with that. I'll just need to complete the, the, complete the square on this part, because here we know that k is what? 0. Okay? The y squared, there's no k there, so it's just k is 0. All right, so remember from the first problem, we take the number in front of x, we half it, that gives us 1, and then we square it, and that gives me 1. So I add 1 to this side of the equal sign. I have to also add 1 to the other side. And so this is going to give me x minus 1 squared plus y squared equals 16. And so we can see the center is 1, 0, and my radius is 4. Okay, so center is 1, 0, radius is 4, so the center is 1, 0, and the radius is 4. <clears throat> All right, so let's plot the center. That's 1, 0, and then the radius is 4. So I'm going to go right, left, up, down, four units. So I'm going to go to the right four units, to the left four units. I'm going to go up four units and down four units. And then, once again, like I explained earlier, it's not going to make a perfect circle. Okay, but you get the idea how to do it. Your paper you graph it on will be better than this. And so there's my center, 1, 0, and then my radius is 4. All right, so that's all of that. Uh, hope this video helped. Don't forget to like and subscribe and watch my other videos. All right, thanks.